Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a new Will I Buy It? This is my series that I do where I talk over all the new makeup releases. I discuss what I'm planning to pick up or what I'm not so interested in. I used to do this every single Wednesday. Now I just kind of do it whenever I feel like there's some fun new releases. I've definitely been getting a lot of tags this week, especially on a particular eyeshadow palette. But it's been a minute since I've done this video, so we do have a lot to get through. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. So I just start my videos with an outfit of the day. I'm like weirdly dressed up today. Um, I have this dress on with slippers because that's how I do it. I got this dress a couple of years ago and thought it would be fun to wear. Um, I'm not going anywhere tonight or doing anything. I'm just filming. My dog just let out a giant snore to let me know that I, I'm not doing anything tonight. I'll be hanging out with her. Uh, but I just finished filming this makeup look and I just felt like I was in a really good mood <laughs> from the video. So when I was looking at all of my sweatpants and t-shirts, I was like, you know what? I want to wear something different. So I put this fun like multicolored dress on. But if this video is not already live, it will be coming soon. This is a full face of a bunch of creators' favorite products. So it's just really fun to chat about my friends and use some of their makeup favorites. I have some new products. I will link everything that I'm wearing in my description box so you can always check out what I'm wearing down there. But I just felt like it put me in a really good mood. And now we are going to talk about new makeup releases. So like I said, it's been a minute. I filmed this video at the beginning of May last. And it's so interesting to me because that video, I was just sitting down because I needed a distraction. I was actually waiting for a phone call from my dog's vet and I got the phone call while filming the video. I kept the clip in. And unfortunately that phone call did let me know that they had found cancer uh, in my dog. So it's been a really challenging month, um, but her initial prognosis that I only had days with her and here we are now at the end of May and she's been doing really well and she has responded to her chemotherapy very well. And I'm just really thankful for any of this time that I will have with my dog. But but I know in that last Will I Buy It video, I had so many positive and supportive comments from so many of you and that you were all thinking of Aries and we just, we really appreciate it. And we just thank you for all of your positive vibes. She is sleeping on the floor next to me. If she wants to pop up, I always put her chair in the back in case she wants to pop up and say hello, but she is sleeping on the floor next to me. So I'm just going to scoot over a little bit. I will add in um, the links to the Instagram accounts that I am reading from. It'll be trendmood1 and hotfire.makeup for this week's video. Um, and yeah, I think that's everything. So let's just jump into it. Like I said, getting a lot of tags and I think we all know what I'm going to start with in this video. It's the year of blush. So let's talk about blush. <clears throat> but I do feel, genuinely feel like there's a lot of blushes happening right now, right? So let's just, let's kick it off with that. And of course I was getting a ton of tags on the new shades of the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow blushes. So these are $40. They also came out with the shades Berry, Cherry, Rosewood, and Mahogany. I'm super happy to see this because, and I don't know if those were the only two shades that you could get or they were just like the only two shades I ever kept seeing, but I'm really happy to see more, especially some of these darker shades, I think look super, super beautiful. I don't think that I need a new one since I do have my pink one and I really enjoy it. I think that it's a great blush. It's super long wearing. This like, this poppin orangish shade this looks so beautiful i feel like my friend angie would love that one that looks stunning um i also really like this lighter pink one too i think that this would be a tough one if i was buying them again right now between doing this beautiful pink which i'm assuming maybe is rosewood i'm not for sure maybe it's rosewood that one i think looks very beautiful but like i said i have my dior blush i think that it's great like i think i'm fine with that makeup by mario has released his new soft pop, soft pop plumping blush veil okay a weightless sheer cream blush made with hyaluronic acid to hydrate and plump skin with a sheer veil of color and a dewy finish these are going to be 30 dollars each i really like the shades of these i feel like there's a lot of blushes right now that i'm like those are so pretty but I'm also, I have said since the beginning of the year and even until last year that I was trying, my goal for this year is to not purchase as much makeup or even keep as much makeup in PR or try as much makeup. So I, that's kind of a reason why I also stopped doing these on a weekly basis because it was kind of feeding into my 
FOMO. And then obviously with everything else that is going on, I just feel like buying makeup is just kind of not in the forefront of my mind right now. But these blushes do look super beautiful. I like that they're cream blushes because I find myself gravitating towards the cream products quite a bit. But Sigma Beauty just released their cream blushes and that's what I've been reaching for. Like if I'm going for a cream blush, I'm pretty much going from uh, for those. Or also Essence just came out with these pure nude baked blushes. I do have one on it today because um, these are one of my creator friend's favorite blush. And I think that these are super beautiful. So again, I just... I don't feel like I need to purchase them. Um, I did also see this blush palette from P. Louise. This is the my first blush palette. I mean, this could be your first and last blush palette. You will have blush to last you a lifetime. You can pass this down through generations, which is really great. There's eight shades with pink and peachy tones and a matte finish for $28. I mean, blush palettes are just, I have not wanted to buy palettes like this in a couple of years. I just don't see me getting a lot of use out of them you know if you are a blush fanatic and you want to wear a different blush every day i don't know like maybe something like this is a good idea for you but for me personally it just doesn't make a lot of sense to purchase them but also urban decay is coming out with their hydromaniac dewy liquid blush so we have a long wear liquid blush delivers a rosy glow that plumps cheeks up um, also infused with kombucha and marula oil for 24 hour long lasting hydration these are going to be 22 dollars each and available at Ulta. I don't know, something about just looking at these, I feel like they're gonna be so pigmented. I don't know. That's just, and literally I'm going off of like a computerized photo. Like, I mean, that means, what does that even mean? Um, but I don't, I, I feel like I would go for a cream blush over a liquid blush. Like, I feel like I'm not that great at liquid blushes besides like the Charlotte Tilbury blush wands. Those are so easy to work with. But I just don't think that those, I don't think that those are going to be my vibe. But speaking of Charlotte Tilbury, I saw that she is also coming out with a new collection. This is the Summer of Love Gasm collection. It will be limited edition. It's inspired by Pink Gasm. All the gasms. So we have Jewel Lips for $32. Hydrating a Plump Effect Lip Gloss for Love Glazed Lips with a Dazzling Diamond Finish. Also the Beauty Light one in Pink Gasm Sunset for $42. This is a Radiant Rose Pink Highlighter Blush for a Deeper Kiss of Color. These look stunning. The blush I don't need. I'm talking myself out of the blush. I have I think it's pink gasm, right? I have the pink gasm blush wand. It's great. I don't need another blush wand, even though it looks beautiful. The jewel lips look so darn pretty. I know my dog just let it aside. Like, girl, you really talk about buying another lip gloss? No, Eric, I'm I'm doing my best over here, okay? This is the one in pink gasm, the pearlescent pink. That looks so freaking stunning. Do I need it? Ugh, that's a tough one though. That's on my like maybe list. That's on my maybe list. I see Gucci is coming out with their luminous matte beauty blushes. These are $49. Not something I'm super intrigued by. Uh, also, Bare Minerals is coming out with the Gen Nude Blonzer, their blush and bronzer. They have some new shades. These are $34. I've tried these in the past and I just really... I just wasn't vibing with them. I've ended up decluttering them, so I'd pass on those. Lawless Beauty is coming out with a new collection that includes a blush. This is their Watermelon Collection for Summer. This is also limited edition. It comes with their uh, Forget the Filler Lip Plumper Gloss, which is fabulous. The Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask, also a great one. We have the Line Smoothing Tinted Lip Balm, a favorite of mine. And then there's also the blush for $29, and this is all available now. These shades are so... These shades are so fun. They look so summery. The blush, again, I think like I'm fine on blush. I wouldn't need that, but I really, their gloss I absolutely love. Aries is dead snoring. She could care less about me talking about the Lawless Lip Glosses and how much I love them, but also their balms are so, so good. Like, look at my, I have my Lawless Gloss in front of me because I've been wearing it. Like, this thing is nearly empty. I do get some PR from Lawless. I don't think I've received this watermelon one yet. Um, I haven't seen it come in, but if I do, I would probably end up keeping the lip balm for myself. Like, is it something I have to go buy? Pro like, probably not. I'm trying to be better at not just like running out and buying things, but I think that collection looks way cute. Um, that might be it for 
blushes unless I missed one. So there's that. But I did also see that Hourglass is coming out with some new face palettes. So these are their ambient lighting palettes. So we have the Sculpt and Set, the Blush and Glow, and also the Diffused Rose Edit. The first two palettes are $85. The other one is $69. And these are all limited edition. I just, I, I, I really struggled to get into these Hourglass palettes. I had one at one point. I just never really used it a lot. I finally decluttered it. I do think that they're pretty, but I do wish they would, if they're coming out with face palettes like this, because sometimes when brands come out with face palettes with multiple shades, they're trying to hit like everybody. They have the lightest to the lights to like the really dark shades. And you're like, oh, okay, well like this one palette can hit a multi range of people. But it seems like when Hourglass comes out with their palettes, they're really kind of targeting one audience, but then only releasing one palette. Because I also don't mind that because sometimes if I'm purchasing a larger face palette, I'm like, well, I'm not gonna use four of the shades because they don't work on my skin tone. Versus if I could buy a different palette and it's all focused on my skin tone, but then there has to be other palettes as well because we all don't have my skin tone, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, that's what kind of how I feel about the Hourglass palettes. So they just don't really intrigue me. They're pretty expensive. And I'm just kind of like, okay. All right, now I'm just gonna kind of bop around for a little bit here, but this is kind of intriguing from NARS. They're coming out with a light reflecting under eye brightener. Advanced makeup skincare hybrid formula illuminates the under eye area by targeting dark circles and dullness. These are gonna be $34 and available June 2nd. This intrigued me because I really love the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. It's one of my favorite products. I use it all the time. So when I initially saw this, I was like, are they reformulating the Soft Matte Concealer? Because like now I'm going to be scared. Uh, but it's an under eye brightener. So I'm still in, like, that's why I initially was kind of like drawn to it. But I just don't really go for the bright, the under eye brighteners a lot. Rare Beauty has one. I tried it out and I think it's pretty. And I think it looks pretty on my under eyes. It's just not really a step that I use. I'm more into lighter coverage makeup and no makeup makeup days and I just felt like I couldn't find like a step where I would use an under eye brightener but I know like when Becca had theirs a lot of people are really loving it so we don't have it anymore so or maybe it's the one that's a buy Smashbox now but maybe there's a new option here with the NARS. I saw this powder. I love me good powder. This is from Sicily. Their Blur Expert Matte Finishing Powder Bill. Fine luminous matte reflecting powder to create the look of perfect skin and it's $110 and available in two shades. I was like, come again? Um, so this is gonna be a no for me, dog. But I just, A, I don't wanna spend 110, like even with the Dior Powder No Powder, which I've literally bought like 10 to 12 of those babies and that's at like $45 and every time I'm like, hey, can Sephora have a sale? Um, or can I get some like really dope samples from the Dior website or something along those lines? But $110 is crazy. The only two shades, I'm like, I don't understand. But I have really been loving my Lawless powder and it's what I have on today. I've been talking about this one so much. So between the Dior and the Lawless, like I feel like I'm pretty set for powders. But I still like $110. Ah. Some collections I see coming out from Makeup Revolution, they're doing a collaboration with Fortnite, which I believe is a video game. I feel like I'm pretty confident in hearing people playing. Fortnite, okay? I don't really, that's the extent of mine. There's some things to do with llamas in here. I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but there's like nail products, even more llama stuff, okay. So everything is pretty affordable, but just not something I'm personally very interested in. I don't really go for Makeup Revolution a lot, and I don't really know what Fortnite is. And then they also have this artist collection. So, there's that. This is also available at Target or in the UK at Superdrug. So just looks like we have maybe like some more colorful palettes and like some paints in here, face paints, glitter balms. Okay, so you know, yeah, maybe if you're a makeup artist and these are some things that you need for your kit. Again, it's a more affordable price point. It's just not something that I'm very interested in. And I do see a couple different Little Mermaid collections as well because we have the new Little Mermaid coming out. Who is going to see it? I was gonna go to a screening of it here, but I I don't know if I will. I have a lot of trouble leaving my dog right now. Um, even just to like go to a dinner, I'm like, oh. but maybe I'll go see the Little Mermaid. But one of the collections is with Kiko Milano. And I just have to say that when I was scrolling through trend mood, and I saw the photos and I clicked on them and I saw the brand it was Kiko Milano. I did a little bit of a brow raise because I've talked about them in some of my 
you know, will I buy it videos, but I've just mentioned that I just, I don't feel like they're a very inclusive brand. And it just feels like every collection that they come out with looks so similar to the collection before that and the collection before that. And like the shades just don't differ. Or they don't get any deeper than like, like half some of their stuff. I don't even know if I could wear, you know? And I'm just like, huh? So then I see this little mermaid and like this attempt at what they're trying to do with their like promo photos and everything. And I just, I don't know, but still just going through and looking at some of the products, I still just, it, it to me, it still just kind of looks like their normal Kiko Milano products, except they tried to use a darker skin model. <laughs> like, I was like, okay. So I, I'm going to pass on that one. And then we have also um, at Ulta Beauty, we have a Little Mermaid full collection. So we have some eye products, nail products, there's some brushes. You can get the whole beauty box for $20. So really great price point. Now I do love the Little Mermaid. Don't get me wrong. I free. I love the Little Mermaid. I love the storyline. I wish I was a mermaid. I love that movie. I think that's great. I know I don't know a lot of movies, but I definitely grew up with the Little Mermaid, and and think that it's beautiful. But a lot of the products in this particular one from Alta Beauty, like I love the sponges, and also I believe there's like a little hair. Yeah, there's like a headband that I think is so cute. But the makeup products are. I just feel like aren't really geared towards my makeup style they just feel like a little bit younger which totally makes sense like I can see you know younger girls walking into Ulta Beauty and being like mom dad like this is what you have to get me which I think is so cute and so great just for me personally I just don't feel like I need it Tom Ford is coming out with a summer collection as well great this is the Soleil de Fou collection de Fou. De Fou. I don't know. so we have a glow highlighter for $90 then we have a a uh, lip balm, this is $60, and eyeshadow palette is $90. Uh, and then we have what I believe is the fragrance, right? And the fragrance is $295. Okay, so promo photos, fire. Like, pff, whoever took these photos, fantastic. Like, I don't even wear highlighter, and I'm like, that just looks like a bar of gold. Like, I feel like I should have that, okay? Um, looks stunning the quads I hear great things about them Tom Ford fragrance you know they're great and everything it's just it's just all pretty pricey and I don't feel like it's a must-have in my personal collection so I'm gonna pass over that one I do see this has me excited though so Givenchy their prism libre loose setting and finishing powder I'm now available in a mini size I was thinking, 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 thinking about getting the full size and I never did bite the bullet. And now we have the minis. I love minis. An ultra finely milled setting powder that resists caking designed to mattify blur and illuminate the complexion. It's $29. This I think I want to do. This I do think I want to do because this is one of those products that I've thought of multiple times that I've almost purchased multiple times, but I kept saying no and I kept talking myself out of it but I keep thinking about it. And now it's a mini. This is one, I think I'm gonna go for it. Has anyone tried this one yet though? Or what are your thoughts? Of course I wanna know. Then we have a collection from Pat McGrath and I will not lie when I was scrolling through Trend Mood, this is not, I did not think this was Pat McGrath. Not at all. I don't know, seeing all of the pink, I just definitely do not think Pat McGrath. So this is the Divine Blush Color Balm Collection. So it includes the Divine Blush Legendary Glow Color Balm for $29, a lot of different shades. There's also the Luxe Eyeshadow Quad for 62, or the Skin Fetish Highlighter and Balm Duo for $58, or the Everything Kit is $245. Right now I just see coming soon. So packaging is super cute. Again, it just did not seem like Pat McGrath to me. And I don't, it's just this particular photo and I feel like maybe it's like kind of blurry. So I don't, maybe it could be different. But to me, I just, I don't feel that like luxe vibe, you know? And when you're paying those luxe prices, like you at least want like a luxe vibe. So that was like one thing that just kind of jumped out at me. But again, I just don't feel like I need the blushes. Pat McGrath eyeshadows usually do cause me to have an allergic reaction. So I should probably skip over those. Um, but I'm curious your thoughts. And then I see some lip products. So Super Goop is coming out with a new color category. Their lip shade with 100% mineral SPF 30. This is a hydrating lipstick, buildable, bold lip color. These are gonna be $24 each. So I really do like some of these Super Goop SPFs. I have one of them that I wear pretty much every single day. So I like that you're having something kind of specifically for your lips to protect them as well, because let me tell you, I have had my lips severely sunburned I was on vacation in the Dominican Republic. I don't know what happened. 
my lips had some sort of reaction to like I mean I was sunburned everywhere but my mom was like you're gonna film a video and people are gonna accuse you of having lip filler <laughs> and I was like I know my lips were gigantic so take care of your lips um, not something that I feel like is an absolute like add to cart for me but I like the option and then from Tarte we have their Maracuja Juicy Shift pH powered plumping gloss balm with hyaluronic acid. It shifts like magic into a custom pink shade So these are going to be $24 each I get the concept behind them One of my like top videos still on my channel is a winky Lux color changing lip balm like with a little flower inside um, Don't know why that was such a hot thing back in the day shout out 2016, but it really was uh, but I also don't really like these lip products. I did a video recently on makeup everyone loves but I hate and I mentioned these Tarte Maracuja lip plums. I don't like hate them, hate them. Like I didn't like throw them away or run them over with my car or anything like that. Um, but it just, they weren't absolute favorites of mine. So I am going to skip on that. And then I see Lunar Beauty has some new lip products. We have eight lipsticks for $20 each and also lip liners for $14 each. Some of these shades look so stunning and like the detail on the lip products look really, really beautiful. I haven't tried a lot from Lunar Beauty. I, have, I just have to say it's not a brand that really like calls my attention too, too much, but these lip products do look really beautiful. If I, thought, if I was in the market for one right now, I would maybe be thinking about it. I just don't really feel like I am. Alrighty, let's move over to some eyeshadow palettes because we've had a lot of eyeshadow palettes get announced. So Odin's Eye has come out with two new palettes. I do have one on my eyes today. This one is the Stone and Rock palette that I used today. So again, my video will be coming up using the Stone and Rock. Can you guess which creators favorite was that palette that i was using but this collection both palettes they came out with are so so beautiful this is the george divine collection so each of the palettes are 35.90 we have jewels and gem and then also stone and rock i also launched some jewelry with this collection which i thought was quite interesting and these are available now on the website i do have an affiliate code with odin's eye which is just a samantha if you're interested in picking anything up but i'm excited to share this video coming very soon if it's not already up. Another indie brand, Nomad Cosmetics, is coming out with their Majestic Kingdom palette. This is a 15 pan palette. This is uh, going to be $42. This looks so cool. It says Safari Hued, Safari Hued Shades, inspired by Okavango's Magnificent Creatures and Naturally Beautiful Landscapes. So we have nine mattes, three shimmers, and three animal print shimmer swirls. This is so cool. And I've been seeing so many videos going up of those who received it in PR and the looks that they're creating. This is such a neat palette to me. I love the packaging on it. Nomad Cosmetics is one of those brands that I feel like so many of their eyeshadow palettes they come out with, I give, I was gonna say a side eye too, I give a double take too. I think that they do a really good job. I think they're very creative and a little bit more maybe like unique when it comes to their eyeshadow releases. If I was in the market for a new one, I would definitely be thinking about this one, but I don't feel like I'm necessarily in the market for an eyeshadow palette. I spend most of my days crying. I haven't been wearing makeup the most amount, so especially purchasing eyeshadow palettes, probably not my wisest move right now, but I think that one looks so stunning. And then we have the this palette is so, so cool. This is from Linda Hallberg Cosmetics. This is the Aim Higher palette. Nine Shades, a multi-use palette inspired by the passion for climbing, the beauty of magnificent rocks and the surrounding nature including two shades that can be used as cake liner. All shades are multi-use, can be used on eyes, chick, eyes, cheeks, and lips for $49. That first shade that is an iridescent, that looks just beautiful, but these cool tones in here and these shimmers, this is one that I gave a double take to for a hot minute, and I was like, oh, this is one that still speaks to me, and I feel like a reason too why I'm so intrigued by this one is because I don't have a bunch of palettes that look like this. You know, I like that there's some of those that you can use as the, the, the liners as well. Ah, this one I see right now, it just says coming soon. My dog also, okay. I think Aries just said that she wanted me to get this palette. Ah, you can interpret that how you want. Anastasia Beverly Hills is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette. Okay, again, right now I just see coming soon. That was two days ago. This is the Cosmos palette. With 12 shades, it looks like there are new finishes as well. You know, I did a video recently on eyeshadow palettes that I didn't expect to love, and I mentioned the Anastasia Nouveau palette. This one, 
this one doesn't intrigue me as much as that like when i saw that one i was like oh i really want to try it when i'm seeing the first ones of uh, the first photos of this i just don't have that like kind of instant pull and I will say that Linda Hallberg palette I, I would be a little bit more intrigued to try that one over the Anastasia and I don't even need a new eyeshadow palette right now just in general like I don't need one uh so actually I think I'm gonna skip over this one I mean it it looks cool and some of the new finishes that are in there and some of like it looks like maybe we have like a duochrome shade it's pretty I just I didn't do that double take. I didn't feel that instant pull, but curious what you think of the new Anastasia palette. ColourPop has also come out with a new mega palette. This one is their Smoke and Hot palette. It includes 30 new shades of burnt reds, rich browns, terracotta, sparkling gold, soft browns, and bronzes for $35. Okay, so I just, I'm not a big fan of the mega palettes. I know a lot of people that would prefer having something much larger like this. For me personally, I just go for the smaller palettes. So this wouldn't be something that I would love on my own, but I think ColourPop is still having a pretty big, I don't know if where this goes up on Wednesday, I'm filming on Monday. If they still are, there might be potentially a big sale happening on ColourPop. Otherwise I do have an affiliate code with them and that is March Beauty. Um, so you could always check that out if you're interested in getting that palette. And then just a couple, just a couple more palettes left. Cleona Cosmetics, another indie brand, has their Deep Sea Treasures palette. Includes eight new shades and it is going to be $93.50. This is available now. I know a lot of people who love the Cleona Cosmetics eyeshadows and their beautiful multi-chromes and the duo chromes and just like the finishes that are so, so beautiful. It's just not really what I'm going for the most. On my own if you know what i mean so i am going to be passing over from melt cosmetics they are coming out with the dark matter palette celebrating their 10-year anniversary with a new eyeshadow palette inspired by their og dark matter stack their first four shade stack is now a in a 12 pan eyeshadow palette so this is going to be 58 dollars. so that's exciting to do something you know celebrating their first stack i never tried any of the stacks from from melt actually but um, it, it looks pretty just again not something that I feel like I absolutely have to have for myself right now And then from KVD Beauty, they're coming out the dazzle flakes metallic eye pigment Cosmetic shimmer of our viral dazzle sticks in a versatile wet dry loose formula uh, For multi-dimensional metallic intensity. So these are going to be $24. I have heard a lot about those dazzle sticks I've actually wanted to try one myself even though I don't really I don't really go for this type of product all that much I, I'm curious that it says you can use it wet or dry, but I still feel like if I was going to try anything, it would be one of the Dazzle Sticks. I don't know. Have you tried a Dazzle Stick? What did you think of it? You must let me know. All right. And then we are going to finish it off with a new eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona. This is the Yucca eyeshadow palette. I googled the pronunciation before this because... I wasn't sure how to say it, but Yucca is how it is telling me to pronounce it. So hopefully I got that right. I started to get so many tags on this eyeshadow palette and this is a tough one for me. I love the Natasha Denona formula. It's one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas. I buy palettes that I don't even think I'm really going to love, but I still just want to like try them out. Like the pastel palette, that was another one featured in eight palettes I wasn't expecting to love because I don't really love pastels, but I was like, Natasha. I'll just buy it anyway. This one is launching June 1st on all retailers. So we have a balance of green and brown hues for earthy everyday or shimmering statement summer looks, including four new shades and a sparkling foil formula. So this is going to be $69. There's also three new Microtech eye crayons coming out. I really, really, really like this color scheme in here. I really do. Some of those greens, those matte browns. I'm intrigued by the shimmers. But for some reason, my first thought when I saw this palette was like, oh, I don't need it. That was my first in like my first instinct. And then I started, you know, getting more tags. So I kept going back to look at the photo. And then I was like, wait, do I need it? And then I started to kind of talk myself into it. But one thing that I've said from the beginning of doing these Billy Byte videos is I don't want to try to talk myself into makeup. I already have a lot of makeup. I receive makeup. Um, or I just see something and instantly do that double take and then I'm trying to like talk myself out of it Like do I need it? Is it a lot of money? Like do I have 10 of these already in my collection? So if my initial instinct is I don't need it, then that's what I want to go with again I think this looks gorgeous Maybe if I wasn't having like my 
low buy of the year maybe if you know things weren't happening with my dog maybe if i was doing more like get ready with me tutorial based videos i don't know maybe this would be a fun one and again it's beautiful i don't like i'm not discouraging anyone to buy it if you want to buy it i think that it looks great but for whatever reason that was my initial reaction and that's what i want to go off of and again i do think that this is a reason why i stopped filming these videos so much because as i sit here now i feel like i'm trying to talk myself into it like i'm like but you really should get it you love the natasha and these are shades like these are shades that i would like these are shades that i would wear like why would i not buy this palette see see what i'm doing here talk me out of it help talk me out of it in the comments because i don't need to buy a 69 dollars eyeshadow palette right now i just don't i just don't and this one from odin's eye not that they're like exactly the same or anything like that but like i can do the same looks out of here and i really enjoy the odin's eye formula i like i think it's great what like tr truly like i truly think that this formula is so fantastic and i have this one and i you know technically my friend ashley took this from me but i can share it we live 20 steps away from each other like i can go get it at any time uh so i think i'm gonna stand firm and say no to this one unless you talk me into it and then i can blame you and take no personal responsibility i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm just playing with you but let me know what you think about the eyeshadow palette from natasha denona i know a lot of you seem very curious about it so just let me know your thoughts of course i enjoy hearing your comments of what you think on all of these new makeup releases so i was excited to sit down and film this and just give a little bit of an update from you know i know some people truly just watch my will i buy it videos on this channel so to give you a little update from where we left off in the beginning of the month. Everything will be linked down below if there's anything that you're interested in. But as always, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next one.